Welcome back to the show, everyone. Thanks for sticking with me after that last last clusterfuck in the last episode. Last two episodes. Well, now we know who the real fans are. So, um... I am going to run one quick errand now before approaching the finale. Because we are at the finale, ladies and gentlemen. We will be starting the last... Ep- uh, not episode. The last dungeon. God, I hope by the time... I record the second part of this. My brain functions a little bit better. But anyway. So, um... I'm gonna run one quick errand before we get to the last dungeon. So we are overlooking the Veld. And this is the cave on the Veld. This is where we found Shadow and... Um... One of the thieves... There's like a little camp of four thieves in here who are friendly. And the one thief says that there is a big-ass scary dragon in the forest to the north, and oh, no human can defeat it, but wouldn't it be great if you could? Most people who look at that assume they're referring to one of the eight legendary dragons, but they're not. So we are going to go north here, and this is the forest. And I've heard someone interpret the forest as looking like a dinosaur. I don't see it. It just looks like a forest. The only reason I remember it, though, honestly... Like, that I can it pick it like out a of a really crowd. Fish hook. It does. But the reason I can pick it out of a crowd is this little line right here where my shadow is. Like, no other forest has that little break in it. So we're going to park our butts here. And we're going to try this. And I think, I really think I'm super underleveled for this. But we're going to give it a shot anyway. Wow, that was fast. Okay, you are the not terrible one. All right, so these guys are crazy strong. And since Terra has X magic, she can use the Vanish X zone or the Vanish Doom trick really easily. So Vanish, Doom. The main problem is all the dinosaurs in this area will beat the holy hell out of you with finishing strikes, usually. That one didn't. But... Here's the thing, these guys are worth a lot of experience points, and in general, when you grind to finish off levels, this is where they are. Uh, or rather, this is where you should go. But these are the, okay, here's the super dinosaur. Now this guy's an asshole, and this guy is probably what, they're refer what the clue is referring to. Uh, yeah, this is gonna... Alrighty then. So, if you... Da, da, da. <laughs> if you kill these Brachiosaurs... Da, da, da. If you kill these Brachiosaurs, then you can earn yourself the Economizer, which makes all magic spells cost only a single magic point. Which is absolutely ridiculous when you pair it with Quick and X-Zone. Or Quick and... Uh, Ultima. It's beautiful. Da, 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 also, I lied. Da, 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 We're gonna run another couple da, errands real quick. Because they amuse me. Da, so, da, I'm going to show you... Are you done? Yes, I'm done. I'm gonna show you a fun little glitch that I enjoy exploiting. Just because I like exploiting a glitch. Who, who can we kill? Uh, let's see. Edgar, you're a tool. We'll, we'll bring you into this. All right, so I'm only going to give him the sprint shoes for a moment. And I don't know why I'm going to do this other than... Well, I do. It's my own goddamn amusement. That's exactly why I'm going to do this. All right, we give you the sprint shoes. And then we unequip everybody. See, what if I told you that I would be able to start a fight with everybody being dead? You... You have no response, apparently. I'm scared. So, this is just a little glitch I found on my own. I'm happy, because I don't usually find little glitches, because I don't usually experiment too heavily. All right, so we are at the Coliseum, and I've intentionally not equipped Edgar with anything. All he has is the sprint shoes for my own sanity. We're going to run in here. Yes, I would love to fight in the Coliseum. And we're gonna bet something... Let's see, what can I bet? Houses Legendary Grappler Spirit? I don't even know what that means. Uh... 
Uh, well, I just saved, so we're going to we're going to bet the experience egg because I know. Wow, his name is the Steroidite. Okay. Well. All right, Edgar, you have no weapons or gear. Go to it, buddy. You got this. Well, he's got a good opening move. Remember, Edgar is out of my control. I'm doing nothing here. I'm just watching and laughing at Edgar getting destroyed. Okay, so Edgar is dead. But here's the thing. I didn't get a game over, right? And he's the only person in the party. See? He's declared wounded. All right, are you following me? Uh -huh. So now we go outside. And we're going to have a random encounter, and we start, and Edgar's already dead. And we're annihilated. It's just a cute little glitch I found. When I'm really bored, I make four people kill themselves that way, and then I just enter a battle and all four immediately die. I find it amusing. That reminds me of the god mode glitch in Tales of Symphonia. Yeah. Wait, did I actually lose that item? What did I bet? I forget. I really like... Oh, the x bag. Yeah, okay, I've got everything. The old version of the game, because I really like exploiting that against that one boss. Tails veterans know who the hell I'm talking about. Okay. Douche. But basically what you gotta do is you have to... You're... The character you're using has to be killed and then I think revived some with, with some method. Like really fast. Okay. I don't quite remember how to do it. It's been years. But then that character has zero HP, but they can't be hit for any damage. And they're still moving. Oh yeah, I think you actually did tell me about this. Go ahead. So you can beat the holy living shit out of that one asshole boss and he can't do shit about you until Rain heals you. <laughs> but that's why you turn all of Rain's healing arts off. Oh, I see. Alright, so I'm gonna try to do this legit though here. As Terra. I'm going to try to do my last little errand, and then I will stop my recording for now until the day comes. Okay, so I actually need to look this up, though, because I don't remember. Oh, wait, no, it's not him. It's... Like, I haven't memorized the list of crap that you can bet and such in this game. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Okay. Uh-huh. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. All right. So, I haven't memorized what items to bet in the Colosseum to trigger what enemies, but apparently, look who we get if we bet ourselves a Mega Elixir. We have now learned where he has gone. It's so fruit. It's Sugfrood. So, let's see if Terra can beat him, since I gave her the thing to base... Okay, that is the wrong thing to do. You have X magic, and you have Morph. Smacking him upside the head from the back... Okay, well, that's something. Alright, now I just need you to, like... And we will see you in another time skip when we approach the final dungeon. Ugh. Oh. I'm humiliated. Okay, so who knew that between the end of that part and the start of this part, I've had way too many days that I haven't been recording because of severe illness and internet outages. Especially internet outage. It's Ugh. been a thing. So we are going to now attack the tower. Right, we're going in. Okay, your votes were tallied. Um, Umara was over... Oh, wait, wait. It's time to break into Kefka's domain. What's wrong, Celeste? The statues give espers the magical energy they need to live. If we destroy the statues... What'll happen? I'm really not sure, but... 
the espers and magic too will most definitely disappear from this world. <clears throat> and then... What will happen to Terra? Well, I guess we'll find out. So, um, I tallied your votes. You guys overwhelmingly told me to leave Umaro behind. So that's happening. But there was basically a three or four way tie between Locke, Edgar, Gogo, and somebody else. So, um, someone, whoever voted that Edgar needs to stay away said so because Edgar is weak and not useful. So I kind of took that as a personal challenge. So Edgar's in. But the one who is least useful is going to be Locke because his stealing ability just doesn't matter at this point. So Locke and Umaro are sitting the finale out. They'll be in the ending, but they're sitting the finale out. Especially because, see, Edgar's level 32, he's actually the weakest, so I wanted him in just to prove uh, that I could handle it. I have so, this mental image of Umaro and Locke sitting by while everyone's fighting Kefka, like, with those little jello samplers, like, occasionally throwing them at him. <laughs> All hey! right, so we... Cast holy or some shit! So we have I'm to. Bored. We have to do. Uh, we have to split the group into three teams. Um, so that's why two have to be left behind. Fourteen characters, twelve total slots. Two are gone. So I've gone through. It took me a lot of time. I've got. I crunched the numbers. I have my team set, and everybody is properly equipped and properly espered. So here's the teams. Team one is going to be led by Kalo's favorite Gal. He will be team lead. He's going to be backed up by Strago. Realm. I did that in the wrong order. No, no, I didn't. Um, and Edgar. So the reason for this team, Gao is not as good as he could be. I have not grinded with Gao, but he does have a few of those animals that we know are really effective and efficient. But he's backed up by Realm and Strago, who are both equipped with um, uh, 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 Aspers that will help their magic ability. And especially with Strago's Grand Train, it should be able to offset any weakness that Edgar has. Edgar is equipped with the Dragoon Boots and the Dragon Horn. That way he can do jump continuously and stay out of the battlefield most of the time. I should protect him from getting killed, despite having only 32, uh, 32 levels. Team 2 is generally the team that does the heavy lifting. So it's going to be led by Terra, who is our alpha girl, and she is equipped with the x -Bag. Um, she's also equipped with tree talk that way or try talk that way she should be leveling fast and she should have she she'll be gaining magic power like crazy so by the time we get to the final boss she should be OP and can cover for everybody else's weakness and speaking for covering for everyone else's weakness her first partner is gogo -Go because with his mimic ability he'll be able to copy her double magic and I made a mistake earlier with Gogo. Gogo cannot equip Espers, but he automatically knows the spells of your best mag uh, mages in the same party. So since Terra knows everything, Gogo knows everything. And as assuming his turn comes after Terra's, we'll be able to just quadruple magic, essentially, and the enemies are going to be unhappy. And then they are further backed up by Cyan and Setzer, who are physical presences... But their attack power is iffy, especially since they're both level 33. But Terra's strength and Gogo's ability to copy her spells will be able to mask their weakness. Especially because I also gave Gogo the ability to use tools and uh, blitzes, and I think he can throw things. So he'll be strong. Team 3 will be led by Rachel's favorite, Mog. Mog! Who is operating as a secondary mage. Over here, see, you normally want two mages per team. And over here, we've got Rome and Strago as the two mages. Here we have Terra as the main mage, and Gogo should be able to supplement her, especially with Mimic. Over here, we really only have one mage left, so Mog's going to have to fill in the gap. But Celeste is the primary mage, although her runic ability is now useless, so she has the Atma weapon and can do some serious damage from the front row. They're further backed up by Shadow and Sabin, who actually do have some physical strength, and should be able to make up for any deficiencies in Celeste's magic. Especially good old Sabin, who not only has Bismarck to increase his strength per level, but he's got the, Gen the Genji Glove and the Offering. So, it's not going to be pleasant for him. Kefka gonna get fucked. 
All 12 of these men and women have the best armor and weapons I can give them without having to do unnecessary grinding, so I think we're good to go. And I hope my memory has not failed me that Team 2 does the heavy lifting. I swear it's Team 2 that does the heavy lifting, because they have to ha deal with two bosses rather than one. So, the teams are set. We're jumping in, quite literally. <laughs> Mach jumps from his butt. That was adorable. Ball, let's go kill Kevin. Let's go kill Kevin. We got this shit. And the coolest part is, even with all this prep work, like, you can bail from the dungeon any time if you feel you're underleveled. Divide into three groups. Yes, we know. All right, so everybody has their proper stuff, so right now we're just going. Hello, Brontor. Oh, God, don't tell me you're the same thing that we just had to deal with below. I don't think he is. I think he's a weaker version. But just in case, we're going to life three ourselves. And everyone's going to gain levels pretty fast. Um, especially Edgar. So that's why I'm going to try to keep him around. And that's going to hurt her, but not too badly. Or not. Good job, dude. Good job failing. Alright, so life three, what that does is it prevents death. Like, if you get... If you die, but you're under the effects of life three, then you just come right back. So... God, cast Scratch is useful. See, there goes Edgar. That's what those two relics do for you. And we're good to go. Edgar gained a level immediately. So, Edgar's on his way. It's... He's not the greatest, but he does have a lot of use that I did not show you over the course of the game. Just because we had other things we were doing. Um, but... Between... See, I think this team will be fine. It's not the best... It, or it's it's not exactly the best uh, idea, the best situation, but I'm doing this for the challenge, which is why I did not grind. You have nothing to add, do you? You 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 <laughs> were talking the entire time. As if that stops you most of the time. I'm ah. trying to be more polite professional? and professional. Ah. And I actually what's the word I'm looking that. for? What's the word I'm looking for? Courteous. Well, apparently we found a weakness with Edgar. Because he just jumped on evil Oscar and wound up healing him. But that's what the drill is for. Fire three! Good I'm, job. I'm sure everyone at home is having a laugh that I'm such a rude jackass I can't even summon the word courteous right away. That's fine. Gao just uh, gained a level and Strago learned that sour mouth ability. So that's beautiful. Yeah, fist bump. Um, uh, all right. You need to get in the air. You need to do cure three to everybody. I that's can't, gonna, I yeah, can't that's tell if that's well. a raptor or a well. really screwed up chicken. It's a raptor with a little hand. It's adorable. Why did he counter? Why did Gao counter? Gao should not have countered. Does he have freaking black belt on him? Because if he does, I sort of need to change that. Uh, fire three. Well, oh, there goes the chicken. Damn it, Ed damn it, Edgar! I'm sorry, I fucked up. That's the other nice thing with the jump. It cancels um when you have jump. Uh, it cancels the row disadvantage. Smack. Cat scratch is very useful. It's basically an automatic critical, despite the fact that he's unarmed. It's lovely. So, as you can see, basically, because we are all underleveled and scared, um, we have specific strategies for everybody. And there's going to be a lot of this where, like, every battle's gonna look the same because everybody needs to react the same way since I've min-maxed. So what is Coronet? That actually sounds like a helmet. Yep. Raises success rate of control. Well, that doesn't help anything, because Rome does not have the ability. And it does not... It, let's see. It, speed up, magic defense up, the cost of defense, vigor, and stamina. No thank you. Circle it works. Don't forget to check Gao's equipment for the black belt. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did give him the black belt. What the hell was my thinking on that one? Uh... Let's give Realm... The golden hairpin. We'll give Gao 
the spring shoes. There we go. That's better. So, I did double check everybody, but that does not mean everything is perfect. <laughs> yeah, you got like 12 characters to sort through. I do, um, which is why I love the finale. Now, did, did you... Never mind, I'll save that question for the next episode, because we're getting close. We are, aren't we? We are. I like that this Final Fantasy VI has like 12 friggin' characters or 14 characters that you need to go through. Yeah. The most you ever get out of a Tales game is like eight. And what I like is that none of them are the star. Like, it, you, the game starts with you thinking Terra's gonna be the star, but she isn't. By the time the second half, oh god. If one team wipes, we're done. Oh boy. Oh crap. Uh, how much magic do you have? Good. Fuck, you don't have quick. Oh god. Oh my god. They lived! They lived, but this is gonna be a little scary, but I'll be able to deal with it. So with Quick, we do Life 2 on Gao. See, we're gonna be burning a lot of magic, but this is what I meant at the at the start, that we're going to, uh, army chur uh, Cherub Army, that we're going to use, um, that Realm and Strago can cover the weakness of Edgar. I want to keep Edgar alive, because if he's dead, he's not gonna gain experience points from this. Which is my main concern here. Because he's got to keep him... He, he's got to get stronger. Or we're just done. Alright. Uh, Stray Cat. And Fire 3. Alright! Bye, gal. There we go. Alright. Well, in the next... Good job, Realm. Okay, we're going to enter these doors and get everybody healed up here in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. We will see you tomorrow for an actual 20-minute recording session instead of Yay. 13. Yay! I, I would like to point out to the person who said Edgar shouldn't be in the party. Yeah. Gao died twice as many times as he did. Hopefully we don't have any more deaths. I love how we'll you can see. skew statistics like that.